yo, it was great matter. So, yeah, I I haven't been doing much for the YouTube lately. Haven't really even. I've barely been fucking doing shit for music. Just making other niggas rich, essentially. Same old, same old. Um, I did recently post about how we're not even supposed to be getting texts. I've been saying the IRS was theft, but you know, people was getting on my case. Oh, you need to pay your taxes, dumbest motherfuckers ever. But anyway, let's let's get back into um moralized getting exposed. And then I'm gonna go into this whole Judge Mathis thing. So first things first, we got Dr. Fauci, right? And that film that you showed is really taken out of context. I believe that was when someone called in who had had a reaction to a vaccine and asked me through a telephone in the interview if they should get vaccinated again. So it was in the context of someone who had a reaction. But she's had the flu for 14 days. Should she get a flu shot? Well, no. If she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. And so she, if, not she get it? if she really has the flu, if she really has the flu, she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. Next, if she really has the flu. She right. should not get it again. No, she day. doesn't need it because the, it, it's, the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected. Yeah, you said the most potent vaccination is getting infected. You know, back in back in 2020, I was telling people this same shit. But I still even now today, I hear from random people when they describe their story, their survival story, whatever. Oh, I got COVID. I had COVID four or five, six, seven times in, in like a single year. I, I I never understood that shit. I never understood how a virus could evolve like every fucking week. You would think based on the reports from the news, which come to find out they were inflated. And then you hear people's stories. Obviously, people listen to their damn doctors too damn much. You would think that's crazy to say. But when you look at, you know, the food business, the, the medical field, big pharma, etc., you realize that these doctors out here are either A, trying to kill you, or B, ill-informed and their actions, therefore, are there to kill you. Like, I, there's no other fucking way to put it. You could read books on this sh type of shit, you know, the medical malpractice that's been going on in the own um, field. There are doctors who actually, like, found out the truth and they, you know, came out with books, lies. I taught in medical school, lies my doctor told me. You know, lies about nutritional diet, for example, veganism, that shit, that that is a trend. That's a fad diet. It's not it's not as beneficial as you think it is. If anything, you shouldn't be eating any vegetables. Yeah, I said it. I'm just going to be blunt. All that bullshit from the WHO and, and the, the food pyramid and all that shit. You shouldn't be eating vegetables. Your body can't even fucking digest the shit. And I knew something was up since I was a kid. I never liked vegetables, personally. I was just eating it because I was told it was supposed to make me healthy. It didn't do shit for me. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm glad doctors are finally coming out telling the truth about, A, the vaccines, um, B, nutrition, you know, what really causes autism, what really causes diabetes, etc., and hopefully we can, you know, get out of this big pharma, big food bullshit. Like, for good. I'm, I'm dead ass. Like, it, it gets deep. Even your shoes is fucking your body up. But, hey. Let's, let's get into the next, you know, ordeal. What I really was meaning to talk about, but I kind of been putting it off. Of course, several other folk in the manosphere has been, you know, getting onto this shit. Talking about his wife and how she was just there for his resources. It, it just goes back into what it was that I was discussing on my channel. You hear all these dating coaches when we discuss a man. They still rate a man's value based off money. They will openly admit that this shit is superficial. But whenever dudes is talking about getting chicks 
instead of telling the men to do things that actually benefit them for themselves, they're just doing it to get women. It's fucking annoying, bro. Paying all her bills and making sure that she has a lifestyle that she wants is not going to stop her from having a wandering eye. It's not going to stop her from going out and about and trying to get what she wants elsewhere. It doesn't do shit. So when dudes get on here talking about men is weak because they can't pay bills, shut the fuck up. Let's get to this. Hey, Judge Mathis, how are you today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to ask... I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man, maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man, cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how I'm here at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your wife. Look, man, I was going to be blunt. Based on everything he said, I really believe that this woman was using divorce as a control mechanism to keep this man from doing what it is that he um needed to do to make sure he provided for the family. But then I really thought deeper about it. She already went public with a divorce. She don't want him. It's just that simple. He's talking about being a cautionary tale, which sadly, that's what this is. But he summed it up as he was flying out too much and he was neglecting his wife and putting her last. No. No. In fact, if I was him, I kept flying out. He shouldn't be taking this type of disrespect. But no, now he's going to go go home. He's still living with her. All right, what, what, let's continue so the video before I get into that part. The separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now, or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road yeah. doing the same thing. And uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But... It was, I was gone for three weeks. That's what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship or? Oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that though. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. First things first, all that change and shit ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. I know what's about to happen. He's going to do everything he can. He's going to be simping the fuck out, crying, begging, and pleading for her to come back while she's going out on dates and exercising her options. That's what she's going to do. Once she went public with it, it's over. That's why I said he needs to just go and fly out, keep doing what you're doing. And then on top of that, I hope he has his finances protected. Because best believe, in her mind, he owes her. For what? Nothing, really. She's just going to take his shit. If his finances aren't protected. Because she never really loved him. A lot of men, especially when you look at statistics, 80% of the women dealing with only 20% of the men. Even the men that got money, they're just using them for their fucking resources. They don't give a shit, bro. You talking about respect. Cause she don't love you. Like just, just fuck all of it. Man. Just fuck all of it. For real. I, I, I'm going to be blunt. And these women. They getting married. And they don't even like their husbands. In their mind they settled for those men. In their mind they're doing that man a favor. For even being in his presence. When really he's the best thing that ever happened to her. But instead of seeing that, they end up like this, talking about, oh, I neglected my wife, I should have been there more, yada, 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 when she never really liked him anyway. And she just has a huge-ass ego, 
and think that she's the greatest thing since sliced bread just because she feels that she's pretty, etc. You're not her first choice. So if you're not her first choice, don't choose her. That's the bottom line to all this. I, I will come out with another video, but it's late and I got to get to bed. I'll, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.